so probably like a lot of people i've gathered a few different wrap dresses and wrap style shirts because that was like pretty in for a while and now i don't like that style as much or i think it's not practical today i'm going to be showing you how i restyle them and make them more wearable So for the first shirt, I'm gonna be making it from scratch. So the first thing I have to do is create a pattern using paper. Okay, so here's one side of the panel of the shirt that I'll be sewing. Now I'm gonna cut out the paper and create the same shape on the left side. The solid red lines are where I'll be cutting the shirt and the dotted red lines are where the shirt needs to be folded for the seam. I just created a stencil of the fabric and hopefully this works out, but I'm not 100% sure because I've never made a shirt from scratch using a pattern before. So this is the fabric I'll be using to make that top. There's nothing really wrong with it except that I don't like rompers. I'm going to seam up all of these seams to see how much fabric I have left and how much of it I can use from the top now. Instead of seam ripping the whole thing because these seams are really tight, I cut off the bottom of the romper and cut the separation and it's kind of like a skirt. I'm going to have to make the top of the shirt before the buffalo a little bit shorter because this is a little bit less fabric that I need. So I separated all the seams on the bottom half of the romper and now I have four of these pieces and I'm going to cut them into the front shapes of the front part of the top using the stencil. Now I just finished lining up all the fabric to the paper and now I'm going to cut it out. Cross my fingers. So because the romper had four panels and not three, I connected two of them for the back so there'll be a fold in the back and I use pins for now but now I'm going to sew a straight seam down the middle. Here I'm going to sew a rolled hem on the front flaps of the shirt now. I'm going to do a rolled hem on all the edges. Now I just need to attach this side to this side and the same on the opposite. Okay, so I am trying on the top before I sewing the final seams to connect the front pieces to the back and it's pretty good. I'm thinking about sewing a bottom strip later with the ruffles and right now I think I made everything a good size so I'm going to sew all the seams together. But this is how it looks. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the middle yet, so I'm leaving it for now. So I attach everything on the top, and this is the top half of the romper, but I put it upside down because there's an elastic waist right here. So I'm going to attach elastic waist to the top that I sewed. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do here, but I might cut in this part and then sew the seam and then put, put a string here to tie it. I'm trying to make it like a little bit like this right here. I add the ruffle fabric on the bottom and I'm gonna mark where I wanna cut it and I have to add the leftover fabric on the back. So you can see right here, I'm like really close to being down to this top. I sewed on the bottom just now. So you can see there's one little section where the fabric was too short. So I had to change the hem and sew a wonky, but I don't think anyone will notice that. And then here the hem's really good. The elastic helps it stay tight right here when I tie it. So now I'm going to sew a piece of fabric right here and a piece of fabric right here. So I look back at the left arm retail from the romper and here I found straps from the original romper so I'm going to use these. If I need more I'm just going to create similar style straps out of the leftover fabric by folding it like a roll hem basically. Alright, here's the final reveal of my finished thrift look of this top. I think I did a good job of replicating the style that I was going for, which was inspired by a princess poly top. I have the open ruffle on the bottom and a tie up right here. I wanted it to be a little bit different than the princess poly tops because those are not as like practical for me. So I made the top more practical by leaving a close front. Something I'm doing is adding sleeves, but for now I'm gonna leave it like this. I think what made this thrift look really successful is the material I chose too. It's like a satin material. Now that I saw how useful making a pattern is once you've figured it all out, I'm definitely going to do that again too. Next up, I had this red wrap dress that I need to change the neckline of. I took apart the seams at the waist and was left with two panels of triangular fabric. I draped the shirt in a few different ways, but then realized that the zipper would make it difficult to cut this dress into two pieces. So I folded in the fabric to make it look like a button down, which I then ironed. I hand sewed the fabric into the inside so the stitches wouldn't show in the front. I added these hooks by hand to close the top, but there was too much of a gap between the flaps because the top was still loose. Then I loaded up my sewing machine and sewed a straight stitch down the middle. Right now I just sewed the middle of this fold right here with a straight stitch and then I hand stitched it on top so I can get it with the sewing machine. 
So the rest of this is all done by hand so far where I attach the flaps from the bottom back to the seam on the bottom. It's always perfect but I think the top needs to go up a little bit more. So I'm going to put two darts in on each shoulder right here and bring it up to the top and then see where you're looking at. Okay, so here's the finished version of this upcycle. What's awesome about it is that you do this whole thing by hand. I think the darts on the shoulder, putting together the seam here, and then splitting this out in the middle makes this like, pretty successful. Their flip slash upcycle. So I took apart the seams from their flat top that was originally like this. I took those seams out. And now I'm thinking of doing it sewing the seam down the middle like a dart with extra fabric on the inside and down the middle. This is so using one of these binder clips which if they will not stab you like sewing pin well. I'm going to fold in where I want the shirt to start. So then I'm marking it out here, possibly where I need to sew the fabric. And then once I take it off, I'm going to fold the shirt in half, pin it, sew the straight stitch down the middle. So I sewed down the middle, and I was too lazy to switch out the thread in the sewing machine, so you can see a little bit of the white thread. Yeah, I kind of regret that. I might redo it later. Now I need to fix the hem on the bottom, so I'm going to fold it in, and then sew a straight stitch, and then cut the extra fabric. My top was originally a tie-up top. So I had some extra fabric that looked the same as this one. So what I did to cover up the awkward meetup in the middle is sew the fabric down the middle. It looks like more intentional now because of, there's like a fabric strip down the middle separating the two different sides of this shirt. One thing I want to show is how I close up the seam. I don't have a serger, which is like the thing that creates like Basically, it creates this design so that your seam does not rip open. So what I do is I change up some settings on my sewing machine to make it more like that. I put it on the biggest zigzag stitch available. So this controls the gap between each stitch and I make it the smallest as possible. But for now, I'm going to keep it at one because I think I don't need it to be smaller than that. And the tightness is at like 0.75. And you can see I kind of did a slightly bad job on it right here, but you can see how it's locked up all the loose ends here. In the middle, I was getting a little bit worried because of the weird place the two fabrics met in the middle, but that extra strip of fabric really saved me. It's just a short sleeve crop fabric. So I pinned the hem where I wanted to stitch it in the sewing machine, but this material, I think because it's really fine and a lacy material, it's not going through the sewing machine, so I'm going to hand sew the hem now. So this is a pretty simple thread flip, but it's a little bit different than the classic cut the bottom off your shirt because it's like a peplum top sort of thing. At some point in my life I've had like a lot of these dresses where they're tight on top and from the bottom, but I never thought about doing this. Now this looks more like a going out top, like a fancy top or a summery top. Alright, so the next thing you might be wondering is what am I going to do with all of these extra fabric scraps? Am I going to like throw them out or like save them all? So in an upcoming video I'll be talking about what I do with my fabric scraps and how I can actually use them rather than throw them out alone. I'm going to be organizing them, I'm going to be thinking of different ways to use them, I'm going to be trying to organize them based on how I'm going to use them and what I can and can't use. So yeah, stay tuned. That's all for now. Bye!